this would have been the summer but quarantine corona said miss rona said 2020 is hers text my phone new number who this and if i say six it might be nine i just want to get the moon on now What's good you guys? It's your girl Michelle here and I'm back at it with another video. Now if this is your first time ever being on my channel then go ahead and smash that subscribe button and join my family if you like this video. Um, but yeah so I just want to say a quick intro. Pretty much in this video I'm just going to be talking about Seattle. I know you guys really wanted me to continue with my Seattle series. I didn't really have it planned out um, so I just want to apologize in advance however I just felt like I really needed to do this video you guys have been commenting and I've been getting a lot of like Instagram messages so I just felt like I needed to do something like I had to bring a video for you guys um, so yeah let's get right into the video I'm pretty much gonna be updating you guys on how I feel now that I've been living in Seattle for one year um, and yeah that's pretty much it and then I'll be doing that while doing my hair so this is the finishing look so if you want to see me either do my hair or know more about how I feel now that I've been living in Seattle for one year then just keep watching <laughs> hey guys let's get into it um so I'm not really gonna focus too much on talking about this hair you guys are just gonna watch me style it as I just discuss things um but this hair is from Nadula hair if you do want to know I will have a separate video um on this hair so it'll be linked somewhere okay um if you want to know the specs on this hair we're just gonna be styling it because this is just not it for me. You guys, I honestly am trying to do better. I personally haven't been very pleased with any of my content. I haven't been very pleased with the quality of um, my videos and my lighting. And I haven't been pleased with the content that I've just been putting out on Instagram. So I've just been telling myself I gotta step it up. So I'm trying to step it up for y'all um, and I'm just trying to bring better quality to you guys. So I'm going to work on getting new things like getting a new mic and this and that. Um, but yeah. So anyways, like I said, I'm just going to be discussing and giving you guys an update on um, Seattle because I actually do have a lot of people that reach out to me. Um regarding Seattle so I guess that is a series that you guys actually really do um, enjoy being that I said that I wanted to focus more on fashion and beauty on my channel I'm just trying to incorporate it with like videos like this where I'm doing my hair and we can discuss like Seattle and still have like my Seattle series going while trying to stay true to what I want to do on this channel um, but I know that there is a need and representation for Seattle um, and people that want to know more about Seattle especially with being um, a minority and a black woman in Seattle so I know there are things that you guys want to know so of course I still want to be able to answer those things because um, there's not a lot of representation if any on YouTube a lot of you guys do I want to cut this first or do I want to do the hair first? I'm going to cut the lace first. A lot of you guys have seen those videos. I actually have a lot of people that add me on Instagram and like message me and DM me um, because they've seen those videos and I love that. I'm so happy about that. A lot of people ask me about what it's like um, being black living in Seattle, which I can touch on, but I can only give you my perspective and again like with my past videos there are some of y'all that were like look he coming for my neck and it's like I'm only speaking from my perspective I'm not speaking for the whole of Seattle I'm not speaking for the whole state of Washington I'm speaking from my perspective me moi Michelle 
like I can't speak for anybody else I can just and that's all I was doing was sharing what my experience has been like I wasn't putting the city down like you guys I was born in Seattle let's not forget that I grew up in Cali but still like I was born in Seattle so I was not over here putting the city down or I don't know whatever people are taking it as if but honestly it's like these are things that people obviously want to know and that's obviously why, why you clicked on the video and you've obviously probably heard of the Seattle um, freeze like obviously I didn't make those terms up <laughs> so if I'm giving my perspective it's because it's my perspective and I want to talk about those things and how I feel about that so it's not like I made up the term Seattle freeze or anything but Anywho, I digress, I digress. Some people were, I think, just taking it the wrong way. And some people obviously received it well and they found it very helpful and they really appreciated the video. So that's the reason why I'm going to continue to make more videos. So if it bothers you, then eh, leave my channel. And I, oh. And if not, and this is what you want to know, then give me a thumbs up and we'll continue to make more videos like this. What has changed since last year when I first made my, um, when I first started my Seattle series? Honestly, not much. Um, I told you guys in those videos that I was trying to do things to make new friends and meet people. So I was doing things like going to mixers, uh, media mixers. I mean, it was hosted by the same person you would see some of the same people but then you still had a chance to meet other people again my issue with stuff like that is like you meet people and it's all cool like oh yo let's link up blah 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 it's my number one thing that I just I don't like and I'm not too fond of um is that whole meeting people but not following through I don't want to say it's just a Seattle thing it could be the people I just met that's kind of stupid <laughs> why are you going to a mixer and meeting people but then not, not following through with like what we discussed at the mixer or did you just do it so you can get a new follower on Instagram oh! it's not that deep <laughs> it's really not um so yeah, so I had a couple of those things where it's like, okay, I met people and it seemed like they were cool people, but we never actually like linked up. So, you know, that was that kind of turned me off from like just people. Um, and then, sorry, I'm just trying to like, uh, y'all, this is hard. I don't know if I should be cutting it looking at my camera because this might mess me up. Um, but yeah. So that was one thing, like, so as far as I went for meeting people, like, I would probably say of the people that I met at Mixers, I linked up with two, if that, <laughs> if that, um, but like, yeah, two. So since I've moved here, um, I'd say I haven't really made new friends <laughs> right so I've still just been hanging out with people that I went to school with and that was what I was trying to be able to step out of the box and also meet new people not any shade to the, like the friends that I do have but I wanted to have like people that I met on my own my phone's showing me a memory and I think it's going to be a memory I don't want oh, okay whatever I thought it was going to be a memory that I probably wouldn't want to see. Yeah, as far as it goes for me and people, met maybe like a couple of new people and hung out with maybe like two of them. You know, whatever. Um, I did meet people through mutual friends. Um, you know, I don't know. It's just it was not it's not it like I don't know I don't know how to I'm trying to like say stuff without saying too much but it's just like it hasn't it hasn't really been working out and now that we're in quarantine it's like I really don't do much now I'm even studying for boards so it's just like ugh. so do I get lonely yes do I be in my feelings yes um not touching on much but like 
you just never know what people are going through so while you're over there like oh you're seeking attention or this and that like you don't understand what people are going through sometimes so you need to watch your mouth when you leave comments for people i was going through a whole breakup um and i had just moved back to seattle yeah so i say that just to say like you never know what someone's going through okay <laughs> before you're over there trying to say someone's seeking attention or i don't know it just wasn't what I expected, and it's still not what I expected. Um, like, there's times where I think about it, I'm like, dang, would I have more fun? Like, or would I be, I don't know, like, how would it be if I was to move back to California? Sometimes I do think about it, like, what would that be like? Would I enjoy it more than what I thought Seattle was going to be? That's an update on how I feel. Has much changed? no so now let's get into being black and living in seattle okay i don't know you guys i feel like this side is starting to come together i don't know if i want to like should i like make the front i think i need to make this like i feel like you get what i'm saying i feel like the layers too low so it's going like you, the volumes down here instead of like it also being like up here you know what I'm saying like we're gonna leave it alone for now but I'm probably gonna go in and have this top part you know yeah anyways like I was saying just I just felt like people misconstrued like what I was trying to say or whatever so that was that um, but as far as it goes for being black in Seattle. I had a lot of people that wanted me to touch on this topic. I haven't been doing a whole lot, so I can't speak on the social aspect. This would have been the summer, but quarantine, Corona said, Miss Rona said, 2020 is hers. So um, I didn't really do much this summer. I know a lot of people were on boats. Was I on a boat? I wanted to drive the boat. <laughs> Was I driving the boat? Did I get to drive the boat? Was I driving the boat? Ask me. Ask me that. Michelle, did you get to drive the boat at all this summer? Because we are now in fall, y'all. Like, it's about, is it already fall? Like, when's the first day of fall? I'm pretty sure we're already in fall. So, or we're about to be. So, did I get to drive the boat this summer? No. I was trying to look cute on someone's boat, okay? I'm cute. And I just wanted to be cute on someone's boat. Did I get to do it? No. That ain't no move problem. Lonzo. That ain't no problem. Huh? That ain't no problem. Um, but it's cool. Better luck <laughs> next summer, right? I did not get to live out a hot girl summer did not get to like meet a whole bunch of people i thought this was going to be the summer that as you guys can see i'm going back to layer it because it's bothering me but yeah i didn't get to live out like a hot girl summer and just drive the boat do all these things that i thought i was going to do um and meet people that's what i really was like kind of looking forward to and then on top of that i don't work at all on the weekends right now before i'm licensed so as a grad intern y'all um i don't work at all it's such a blessing and then this would have been the perfect summer to be able to like really enjoy that because i don't work on the weekends this is like the one time in my career where i don't have to work on the weekends and this would have been it this would have been my summer to just live my best life never have to work about worry about working on the weekends because unfortunately in pharmacy you know most of the time you're gonna have to work on the weekend unless your place is not open on the weekends so yeah didn't get to enjoy that now by the time i'm licensed i'm probably gonna be working on weekends so yeah being black in seattle as far as it goes for yeah the socializing aspect i like i was saying I don't feel like I can really speak to that because I haven't had um, much experience with that except for last summer when I first moved here 
what I know of what the summers in Seattle is, I mean, there's a lot of day parties and this and that, and people go to them, but um, I didn't get to live that out. <laughs> so I've been, it's been a, it's been a self-care summer. That's what we'll say. That's really what it's been. So it's been a self-care summer. As far as it goes for like, yeah, the social aspect, I can't really answer that. Um, I mean, like once you know one black person, you can meet the other ones. As long as you meet one black friend, they can bring you around other people. So as far as it goes for making friends, you just have to meet a good person or two good people and they could introduce you to a friend or a friend but you have to meet people that are willing to like bring you around you know not just someone that you're gonna meet and then they're not gonna bring you around so you can't meet other people um because then you might struggle and that's the thing like no one be bringing me around like it's cool <laughs> sometimes if i do get invited like i'm either busy doing hair or I'm that person that I'm like, oh, invite me. And then sometimes I don't want to go. So there's no winning. <laughs> Once coronavirus is over, I'm out. You invite me, yeah, girl. I'll be there 10 minutes early, guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, but other than that, let's talk about like realistic stuff. So as a black woman, my needs, as far as it goes for like hair or going to the beauty supply store. Um, that's not easily accessible, but I mean, of course, that just depends on like the neighborhoods that you live in. Um, if we're talking Seattle proper, then if you're living in like the central district, that's really good. I mean, it's starting to become more gentrified, but I mean, that's a place that is very like diverse. It's a lot more diverse than the area I live in. I'll tell you that, okay? I don't live by a beauty supply store. If you guys want to know the type of things I live by, I live by Whole Foods, I live by markets, I live by Trader Joe's, um, you know, so you can get the gist. And I like, I like that. Don't get me wrong. I love me Trader Joe's. I'm a Trader Joe's regular, okay? Um, but as far as it goes from my necessities as a black woman, I'm not able to like access them unless I drive to like north beacon hill unless i drive to like unless i'm in tacoma and i'm like i might as well just stop by the beauty supply store while i'm here it doesn't bother me too much would i prefer being able to drive down the street yeah again when it comes to neighborhoods that a lot more black people or people of color live in i know that those are places like you know maybe like south seattle or again like i said north beacon hill um also what else um oh, snaps i'm sorry uh people live out and if we're talking and if we're talking outside of seattle like surrounding cities then i have a lot of friends that live in kent a couple of people that i know that live in tacoma um people that live in des moines people that live in like renton and stuff like that are places that you can definitely consider um depending on what you're looking for and what kind of community you want to live in what kind of area you value someone touched on <laughs> the dating life <laughs> and you know we'll get into that like when michelle's ready to give more tea but as you guys know like i'm a private person someone was talking about swirling and this and that like sis do what you gotta do maybe i can touch on that a different day <laughs> or you know you could dm me if you want to know about those type of deets um but yeah this is just like a quick little update i'm sorry i really did i should have just wrote down questions that you guys have asked me or i should have been like way more organized about this and i should have just had you guys like just comment down below everything that you want me to discuss because some of you guys gave me topics but you, i didn't really know what you wanted me to discuss so comment down more specific questions so i can do videos actually answering your questions not the topics but give me like specific questions someone also asked me about like healthcare providers and i mean i mm -hmm. i don't have a primary care physician yet i'm gonna work on it you guys <laughs> but i don't have one in all honesty like or i never went to visit her the person that was assigned to me so 
Um, I can't really give you suggestions, so I'm sorry I can't help you in like that aspect because there's certain things that I still need to sort out myself. Um, but yeah, this is just kind of just an update. It has much changed for me. Keep my answer short. No. Again, like I said, I'll, I'm willing to do more videos on this topic. I just need you guys to give me specific questions so I can give you specific answers. Because I felt like I was kind of just rambling. And I don't think that's what you guys were looking for. So please don't give me a thumbs down. I just didn't know what you were looking for, okay? Um, but I do want to give you guys an update all in all and let you guys know that I don't think much has changed. Um, but again, we are in quarantine. So yeah. Like, just let me know specifically, specifically what you want to know, okay? Um, but yeah, I'll see y'all in my next video. And if you want the deets on the hair, watch the video for it. Aight? Okay? Okay! <laughs> this unit, it only has one way to part, which is the middle. Um... So, I have to do my faux baby hairs. And while I do that, I'm going to play some music because, because why not? And I've been breaking out, like, koro koro is just messing up my skin. I've never felt like this about my skin. <laughs> yeah, it's, I just, I cannot, I don't even like wearing makeup because my skin is just ugh. you be tripping all the time we spend i pull up and got a smile once again you sign up set your mind to the end cause you don't wanna be Like lightly, very lightly, burnt a <laughs> part of my forehead. And the thing is, y'all, like there was a dark spot that I have from here, and it took forever for it to fade. And it finally faded, and now I just accidentally like nicked myself. So I don't know um, if you're gonna be able to see that, but I feel it. Like I feel like there's gonna be. You know when you feel it. Like, I feel like there's definitely going to be a mark. Anyways, I just um, flat ironed the top. I try to go in and see if I can pluck it. But, you guys, this is the fake scalp. Um, so, it was pretty much like a dunzo. Like, I can't really pluck it. So, the last thing I'm just going to do is just add, like, foundation or not foundation but press powder and the hair is done um and I guess we're done for now this is not exactly the ideal video I want for my Seattle series so please 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 like I said comment down below actual questions um so I can do a video I'll do a separate video dedicated to being black in Seattle um, I'll do a separate video dated, dedicated to, I don't know, pharmacy um, and looking for a job as a pharmacist in Seattle. Like, I'll do whatever it is that you want. Just be very specific um, because, as you guys can see, I'm not the best on coming on here and just talking. Like, I need something to keep me on track and for me to just make sense because I just come here and I just start talking about nonsense. So, yeah, I know it was it was you know it was kind of all over the place um but bear with me 
If you did, then be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you liked this hair, then just comment down below and let me know. Um, but yeah, again, there's going to be a whole separate video also just discussing this hair in its entirety. But yeah, so that's it for this video. And I'll definitely see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to tell your mama, your auntie, your brother, your brother's girlfriend, and your grandma to join my family. And I'll see y'all in my next one. Much love. Bye, y'all.